Hey guys, this is Dikshit from the team Programming Panthers. We are a team of two, myself and Khalil. Today, we are go- our project is to create a random number generated generator. So, we'll be creating it. Let's create a new folder. New folder. The name of random number generator. We'll be creating it with the help of uh, Visual Studio. So, let's open Visual Studio. We'll open the folder that we have created in the desktop. Desktop. Random number generator. Select folder. So we'll be creating a random number generator using Visual Studio. Now we'll be creating a new files in this, which are named after index.html style.css and script.js. We have created three files, index.html, script.js and style.css. Now come into index.html, html. Yeah, this is the HTML code which we actually this part is written by using a basic emit called doc. This line specifies the type of the document which is HTML and this is the language of this HTML document which is English. The head section contains the meta tags and the external uh, links used by this page. In this meta tags we have viewports uh, we have used for viewport settings and for compatibility of the web page. And here we have linked the CSS file also because we'll be styling this document using CSS. So uh, we have linked the CSS document. And here we also link the bootstrap file uh, from a CDN. So we can style with uh, using the bootstrap also. And generally we have given the title as we are doing the random number generator. So we have given the title as random number generator. And we have created a class called container, which we will be using for the responsive. So this is basically a bootstrap class uh, will, that we'll be u- using. So for giving some heading, we have written random number, random number generator using the h2 tag. We will be creating a span number with the ID number to display the generated random number. And the initial value is set to zero as you can see here. And next we have created a button which we will be using so we can if we click that button it will be generating a new number and we have linked this javascript file so which we used for the responsiveness so we link that to the html file now coming to the css so we will be using this for styling the html page so the css code is like this so here we are using the global CSS. It selects the, all the elements. We are setting the font of all the elements to sans serif, and margin uh, around all the elements is set to zero, and the padding is also set to the zero. And the box sizing is given as the border box. And we will be selecting the body elements, and we'll be setting the height of the body to 100% of the viewport height, and width. And We'll be setting the width of the body to 60 rem and here we can see the dis- display flex and we'll be displaying the body as a flex container and we'll be aligning the items of the uh, items of the body to the center vertically and by using this justify content equal center we'll be aligning uh, horizontally we'll be aligning the items to center horizontally and we are given a padding of 470 pixel and background color as red and we'll be selecting the container elements, all the container class elements and uh, we'll be setting the background color to transparent and the ba- bag- backdrop filter to blur and uh, we'll be giving a padding of uh, 2 rem and the border radius is 1 rem and text should be aligned to the center and we can see the content of HTML page which is given under uh, the tag h2 the random number generator is styled all, will, is also styled here the margin bottom is given as 1 rem and the font weight is 900 and coming to the content in the span here span we have styled them also here as we can see the uh, the code display block here it will be displaying the span elements as a, some block level element it will be displaying the span elements as block level elements and we have set also the elements so color background color margin and border radius and we have given a button where we can click so that we can generate random numbers so we have styled the, those the, this button so we have styled the button by giving a padding of 0.5 rem and 1 rem 
and the outline on the border to none the border radius is given as one rim and the background color i have given as black and with the cursor is changed to a pointer when the cursor is hovered over the button and we'll be here we can see button hover so we'll be selecting the button when it's it gets hover and we have set the background color to white and the color to black which we have given a width of 120 pixel and a height of 70 pixel and we have given we have also given a transition width of 2 seconds and height of 4 seconds so this is how we have styled the content which we have given in html page using css so we have styled all the elements all the class containers and everything and also the button and now coming for the responsiveness so we can generate random numbers by clicking on some button we'll be using javascript so let's move to javascript so coming to the javascript code uh, we'll be writing the javascript code we will be retrieving the element with the id number and we'll be assigning that value to the number to the variable number this element is where the random will be displayed this element is the uh, place where the random generated number will be displayed here we will be retrieving the element with the id generate button and we will be assigning we will be assigning the value to the variable generate button we will be assigning the value to the variable generate button so this is respond this is the button which is responsible to generate random numbers this is the button which will be triggered when we click and we will be getting a random generated number and here we have used the arrow function which is used in which is a type of function in javascript so this is this will be helpful to generate a random number and display at the place and here we use the function to the function which is used to generate random number is the math.random and the next generated number will be updated using this number.txt content equal to random number so the updating of the generated number will be done so we have written an event listener so when we click on the generate button it will be respond it will be responded it uh, it way it listens to the click event and calls the random number generator when we click so it will listen to the click and it calls the random number generator function so this is the javascript code which is responsive so let's see the output so we can see a random number generated already so when we click on the when we click on the generate button it will be the event will listen the click and it will it to the random generate random generate number function and it will generate a random number again and it will generate a random number again as you can see so we can also let me show you here if we keep it as some hundred we will only we will only be getting random numbers in between hundred so as you can see so this is our project thank you so much